Hi, this is JJ here at Once. What you're about to see is some very special content created just for you by the Once family. Art and community are our priorities here at Once. We'd rather be with you in person, but what we can do right now is create virtual experiences for us to all enjoy together. No, it's not the same as being at a live show, but that doesn't mean that it's not a way to enjoy each other's company and entertainment. So, without further ado, a few house notes. The bathrooms are in the back, on the left. No flash photography, please. And as always, no crowd surfing. Enjoy the show.
Dark Spring, Boston, and once.
these fields pins and needles With dark paintings cross your eyes Lush forest through your living room I'm waiting for crush out Escalate into void No control Miss your fall I'm in too deep Crush out Crush out Strikes like an arrow Paint drops, they drip like blood A peek into your mirror Your shadow spits out fire Escalate into void No control Miss your fall I'm in too deep I'm waiting for your nightmares And here they clearly come I'm waiting for the crush out It's time to step inside yourself
This is Tim Hall here, musician, um, saxophonist, and poet. I'm here at once and just need to say how important it is to support the local arts and local businesses. 
once is such an important venue to the scene of artists and creators. I'm um, just here to, to, to name how uh, dire it is to support um, once and the, the staff here and, and, and everything that they, they stand for and do for this local scene. Um, again, they're doing amazing work. Please go and support. See you soon, Tim Hall. Out. America, demand your OVV. I want my OVV. I want my OVV. I want my OVV. Your favorite bands, the Once Nightclub, all online. Tell your computer, grab your mobile device. Tell them, I want my OVV.
Hey, this is Chadwick Stokes from Dispatch and State Radio here at the legendary Once Ballroom. Just wanted to say a quick shout out to Once Ballroom. Places like this, venues like this are the lifebloods of our community where that we are really missing at this time, but they are continuing. You can check out shows. They're, st they're still going, it's still going, even though it's, uh, we are all shut down. Some things are, are going and those are the very things, the music, the arts that uh, I know I cling so hard to during these times. So um, check it out. And once again, thank you to Once. So we're Once Somerville. We have an online store. It's called Shopperville. Get it? It's a pretty cool place. You can find our t-shirts, our bumper stickers, which by the way, say Once Army, smashing the patriarchy since 2015. So you know you want people to be seeing that. Check out Once Shopperville. You can find the link in all of our socials Please buy something. It helps us, makes you look cool. You rock. Uh, my name is Angemily, and Once is one of my favorite venues ever. I think the first time I came here was like 2012 uh, <laughs> with a bunch of kids from Boston University. Um, so this place has a very special place in my heart. Um, follow hashtag Save Our Stages to find out how you can help save important, awesome, independent venues like once.
Hi, everyone. I think we're uh, live now. This is Nicole from Dark Spring, Boston. And first, I just want to thank all the bands and everyone for attending today. This was an incredible show. I couldn't pick a favorite if I had to. And I also just want to let you know that our next show will be on January 8th. And we are so pleased to announce that we'll be presenting True Faith's record release party on January 8th. They'll be playing along with uh, Arch of Love and Old Moon. So that is an incredible lineup and we're really excited for that show too. But now we're going to chat with the bands. I have a couple questions for everybody, uh, but if anyone else has any questions or comments for the band, send them in and I will ask them. So I'm going to start in order with Ex Hyena with Bo and Ruben, who for those of you who aren't in Boston, I introduce them as stalwarts of the Boston music scene and beyond. Uh, first of all, Bo and Ruben, is it weird to watch people watch you perform? Is that a weird, weird way to go since this is your first show? Yeah, that's definitely weird. Definitely yeah, weird. I mean, it's and watching yourself too, yeah. with everyone. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a little, it was a little weird, but it was also, I mean, I think it was also like a lot more fun than I thought I would. Like, I don't know, just had, I just had so much fun at this uh, virtual show, and and I've had fun at others, but you know, I don't know, this one was just uh, definitely special all around. You know, there's something to be said for attending your own show and getting to hang out in the audience at the same time. You kind of get the best of both worlds, I think. So. Tell us how long, I mean, I know Ex Hyena's new. How did this project come to be? Uh, well, it was quarantine. Um, <laughs> Ruben and I were uh, looking for something to do and uh, we started trading files. I, I was making um, a lot of instrumental tracks and sending them to Ruben, who was then singing, writing, writing the words, um, writing the whole song and sending it back to me. And then I would sing on it too. And it just kind of came from trading stuff back and forth. Right, Ruben? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think um, Bo and I are both like prolific and motivated, but I think it was just the kind of thing where um, this, this, we were recording around like May and April at the beginning of this thing. So I think it was just like very much, uh, kind of our coping mechanism for for this whole COVID thing. And uh, and I don't know, I, I think we just built a lot of momentum just because like each thing we were doing was just um, building on top of the other and just was sounding really good. And, you know, next thing you knew, you know, we had like a whole album and, and we and we like haven't stopped. <laughs> we have like, mm -hmm. the, you know, already working on the second album because uh, oh we, we just we just kind of yeah. This has really helped through this whole time. <laughs> Amazing. It's a silver lining for us all. That was an incredible set. The videos that we've seen come out before are beautiful. Can't wait. So you have an album coming out. Can you tell us when that's happening? Um, what is it, March or February? I, th I think we're trying to get it out in, in February, uh, probably like mid. So yeah, nice. I think like early January, we'll, we'll definitely... Uh, or or by before the end of the year, we'll definitely like announce a, a for real date. But um, yeah, we're excited for that. Yeah, and before that, we have a not so secret um, remix album coming out too. Awesome. Yeah, we have like a remix EP, and and then we'll probably be doing one other single before the album comes out. Fantastic! Well, send it our way. We'll share it and can't wait oh. for it. It was so good. We're gonna go now to Child of Night, who I've got some questions about. First of all. I got to, of course, preview this video, I think Wednesday when Jonathan sent it over and he already, he's already heard me fawn over how much I loved it. It was beautiful. We're really happy that we got to debut the new lineup. We were fans before, but this new lineup is amazing. Uh, but I wanted to ask, I know you're in two cities. I believe you're in Columbus and Pittsburgh. How, is, how challenging is that for you to have a band in two different cities, three hours apart? Um, well, we're, we're actually in three different cities because <laughs> I'm in Brooklyn, so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, so like we're a, a total remote band, you know. Um, I, I mean, it, th like this lineup just like really happens so fast, like basically in July, I think, is when we started. 
uh, and <laughs> um, sorry. So yeah. Anyway, uh, it happened. It all happened really fast, and like we just were like the guys were um, sending me files for you know to write on and and to get inspired by, and so and then we got together, and you know, so like we it, it's been a a whirlwind, but it also like you know very seamless as well, considering that nobody lives close to each other. Seriously. It sounds a lot like Ex Hyena. There's a lot of great music being made by people not in the same room right now, which is incredible. What is coming next for you? Will you be releasing an album with the new lineup that we can patiently? Um, yeah, John, can you, are you, Tristan, are you there? Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll stay tuned. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, we, we have an album coming up. We do have something. We're kind of like, ju we just finished it. We just mastered it. And so we're figuring out basically right now, like where to shop it. So do you know any rad record labels? Let us know. If anyone's out there right now, we might have somebody on the line right now. I think I just, I unmuted you. Jonathan and Tristan, I think you're unmuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think we're all right now. Well, that's great. Um, can't wait to hear more for sure. Um, is Diavel Strain on the line? Did they drop? I don't see them. They might have dropped off. We love their show. They're of the three bands, the only band I've seen live, and their uh, live performance in person and virtual equally amazing, energetic, passionate sets. So that was amazing to see. And I'm so glad that we were able to have them as well. So great show overall. Those are all the questions I had and I'm looking to see if we have any audience questions. Uh, it doesn't look like. So thanks again, everybody for coming. Thanks to the bands for playing. Thanks to, for, to Once, of course, for hosting this show as they've been doing through this entire pand pandemic. Please support them whenever you can, because we certainly love being able to bring these shows to you. And we look forward to one day being back in their rooms in real life. So that sounds great. And otherwise, we hope to see you all on January 8th for True Faith's record release party. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, JJ. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. JJ. Hi, my name is Will Daly, and I'm in Once right now. Right now, I'm in Once. Um, I've had many wonderful gigs here. I have seen uh, monumental wrestling events here. I have seen friends play here, and I've also had the privilege of touring all over this country and other countries. And there's only one Once in the world. And uh, if we lose places like Once, um, we just become way too homogenized. There's lots we can do individually to support these places, but really, everyone who's been elected to represent us has to pass bills, and one thing we can do is annoy the hell out of them and never let them sleep, send them letters and emails and phone calls, and just being annoying little shits, because they're annoying little shits. So let's just be annoying little shits and constantly call them about save our stages. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe.